Hi, it's We Are The Crowd. I'm Tay. I'm Jordan. And you're watching The Current Podcast. So how many has this tour been? It's been your biggest uh, UK um, trip to date. It's been good. It's been really good. I feel like um, it's funny. I think we got used to touring in the States so often um, the last couple months that when we came over here, we were sort of surprised again. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny. Kids will ask me after the show, like, you look so surprised and excited. And I was like, because I was. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't expect that reaction every single day I'm like whoa okay all right well yeah. that's nice so yeah it's been it's been good excellent I mean you've been uh, you've been over a lot now uh, have you come to sort of know the places you're touring the other certain places you sort yeah of we're looking out? to buy apartments too <laughs> <laughs> just move here yeah. no um yeah it's funny we uh it, now like when we we park on the side of the road and we kind of look out the window and we're like oh I know where we are, we know where to eat, we know where to go shop, and mm -hmm. instead we're like the first couple tours, you're like kind of hanging onto your tour manager's hands, like where do mm -hmm. we go? Yeah. All right, uh, um, you're in Manchester, uh -huh. hypothetically, uh, where would you go to eat? Uh, have a drink? The venue that we usually play there actually isn't much around there. I always go to the Costa around the corner. Mm -hmm. um, and there's an Asian place. I think it's a Thai food. The red, red chili. Red chili. Red yes. Chili. See, there there's, you go. we and do that. There's a the bar too. There's some big hands. Yeah, the big hands. Yeah. yeah. The bar is good. See, it's uh. <laughs> like we're getting we're getting <laughs> used to these places. You've been uh, touring with Never Shine Never. Uh -huh. um, how how have you been getting on with uh, Christopher Drew? Really good. Yeah. Um, we had no idea, you know, who they were, what kind of people. Like we didn't know anything about them really, um, other than their music and. Um, the first day, everybody got along really well. They are some of the nicest people we've ever toured with. They're so like, it's it's like a giant family, and we're also sharing a bus. So like to be living in the same area with somebody, yeah. another band, also, um, I think we're really lucky to have yeah. have them be a part of that. Excellent. Do you have any end of tour pranks, you know, planned? I don't think so. I mean, I feel like I feel like there's never. We just prank it. And he's yeah, the day. <laughs> it's weird. I feel like a lot of bands, unless it just comes to them naturally, mm -hmm. we like don't really think about it until like maybe like we're not that creative on, under pressure. I feel like yeah. we have to like if something just happens, like oh we should do this. Like uh, one time we had we hid our um, guitar text radio in his bunk underneath his mattress. So right when he's about to go to sleep, we're like John, John, and screaming. He's like. Oh my God, where is this coming from? And he had thought that he had lost the radio, which cost however much money. So all right, day so we found it and we put it under his bunk. And he's like, "This is where it's been." I'm like, yeah, well, you lost it. So. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, you've got you've got all day to think of something. I yeah. guess so. Yeah. I feel bad. Though. I feel like they're not gonna prank us, and then it's just gonna be us. Like, yeah, we got you. You know what I'm really like, trying to do? And I still haven't done. I've always wanted to go into somebody else's dressing room and duct tape all their belongings, like their phone and their wallet, to the ceiling. I know it's kind of a go-to, I know other bands have done that, but I really want to do it. Yeah, wrapping uh, people's office stuff in foil is quite popular. <laughs> That's um, funny. So it looks like they're in the future. We got the tissue paper. We've saran wrapped people in their bunks before. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's always really funny. They're like, oh. <laughs> it's been about 18 months since Best Intentions came out. God, um, really? Yeah. Oh, God. You've been uh, working on the, the follow-up. I'm feeling old now. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> when can we expect this album? Is it sort of a summer release? Um, we want to do a winter release. That's right. what, yeah, that's what we're planning on doing. We want to have enough time to really prep it and do do it the right way with enough time. Um, we're gonna write and record this summer. Right. So that we we can kind of release some uh, singles in the fall. Like by now, we're the sort of band who have uh, thirty songs and pick the best, or do you do it Metallica style and just concentrate on ten and ten? <sighs> That's the way it's been, have, yeah. yeah. but we also don't have a formula. We don't sit down yeah. and say, this is how it's going to be. We usually go in with about like 20 ideas and then pick the 10 or whatever. But I think this time around, we're going to have a lot more songs to choose from because we're all feeling really antsy. Has been a long time since we've written. So, uh, yeah, we want to keep everything and we want to get everything out of our heads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so I'm sure there's going to be a lot to sift through. We have a lot of ideas, um, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be us. I don't know. I don't I, I don't like putting a t 
title on it, so to speak, or anything, mm-hmm. because it's not even written yet, and it's not, yeah. you know, it doesn't exist. <laughs> mm-hmm. So for me to tell you, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like, we're the in crowd 3.0, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so um, we're just gonna do whatever comes to us naturally, and hopefully everybody, everyone likes that. Right now on Karen.com, uh, fans can watch the cover of Brand New's uh, Sick Transit Glory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what was it about that song in particular that made you want to kind of cover it? it? Well, I mean, we've, all of us collectively have, are brand new fans. Um, I first listened to them when I was probably like 13 or 14. So, um, uh, we had just thought, okay, we want to keep like our fans occupied yeah. and excited and everything. and. The fact that there is a girl, male and female dynamic there that they don't use and they don't, you know, like, or, you know, only Jesse Lacey sings them. Um, it was actually Cameron's idea in the first place, like, why don't we do it like you sing both perspectives, like that's perfect for our band. So it kind of just fell into our laps and we did it, you know, we really did it for ourselves and for our fans and just kind of see what happens. It's for fun. Brilliant. So what's the next month hold for We the Incredible? Oh, um, more touring. Yeah, more touring. It's always funny. We have we have some time off, and yeah. then all of a sudden it shrinks yeah. day by day, and then all of a sudden you're like, you have two days home. I'm like, oh my great. Calendar, Maybe yeah. I'll be able to pet my dog, and huh. uh, I don't know. I shouldn't buy groceries because it'll go bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, we're gonna go to we're heading over to Japan and Manila um, for a couple weeks, and then just gonna go somewhere in the woods and go right. I don't know. We don't know where we're writing yet, but we'll figure it out. Have you ever been to the Philippines before? <laughs> yes, and it's oh, right. insane. Yeah. It's so crazy. They also treat you really well there. Um, it's kind of weird. It's yeah. really weird. I mean, I got my own hotel room, which is the backseat really, upstairs. really crazy for us. I mean, maybe some bands are used to getting their own rooms or whatever, but mm-hmm. we, not us. And <laughs> I, they also had this thing where like you could um, order room service, like it was part of like the, the whole thing. I'm like, oh my god, this is great. So in the morning, I had this giant breakfast. I'm still in pajamas, mm-hmm. in bed. I was like, this is, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> it was really Bodyguards fun. and you know, the whole deal. The Backstreet Boys were upstairs from us, and I was yeah. like tempted to just keep like hitting the ceiling, hoping they were above me. <laughs> so how long would we be spending there? Uh, it's a festival, so they have probably a couple, couple days. Couple days, and so then. So you work there. How much room service you're gonna try and cram in there? If it happens, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I won't complain. I'll be like, eh. we're gonna be in Japan for a while, though. Yes, we have um, actually almost a week off in Japan. Wow. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm scared. It's gonna get crazy. I might. I love Japan. That's one of my favorite. I feel like we should probably film all of it and and see what happens. That might be nice. Yeah. yeah. We think God does Japan. Seriously though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dot dot dot. Because you're, t- you're a tall man, let's not deny it. There's a lot of looks over there, yeah. The people point. <laughs> and, uh, uh, they just think I'm Asian. Right. They, they think I'm Japanese. Yeah. They start talking, if I have my sunglasses on, and normally my hair's a bit darker, they'll just start speaking Japanese to me, and I'm like... Oh. Anytime it's we go anywhere, we went to yeah. Hawaii and they started saying things like that, I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mahalo. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see yeah. you, hopefully. I don't know. Let and we promise to write our best songs. Cool. We'll hold you to that. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for that. We'll uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Thank mm-hmm. you. Cool.